Yeah, go we gotta go trucks down. already. Friday night, my birthday. I'll be at the oh, track, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Happy Let's early go. birthday! Look at this guy. Yeah, it's gonna be a crazy weekend. So, might as try well start. Not, try off. to save the beverages for after the weekend. It, they, I did hear from the media center that it does close at beer thirty. So on Ooh. Sunday night. So try not to try not to look like. Hopefully, ben it's Rhodes. some bush beer. You know what I mean. Try not to look like Ben Rhodes <laughs> after all of this. Yeah. Oh man, if I get another drunk press conference there, <laughs> holy smokes! Uh, I totally already. forgot about that. Oh, um, man. So championship four for the yeah. truck series, the final time, Camping World as the series sponsor. I mean, you never the- know. Craftsman's coming back, so it could be. Well, true. We've had Final Gander, we've now. had Grander RV and Outdoors, Camping World twice. I also it looks great knows? with Craftsman back. I'm, I'm I love back. the Craftsman logo and that like NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. You know what I mean? <laughs> like you're getting right in there with the Craftsman. Oh man, I do like Camping World. I think I like the Camping World truck, but like Craftsman, just like boom, it just gets in there. But the Championship Four for the trucks, uh, who unfortunately did not race at Martinsville this past week, and I think that should be fixed moving forward. But We've had enough maybe storylines for the weekend that yeah. we didn't really need that. Um, so for the trucks on Friday night, Ben Rhodes will go out there to try and defend his title. Chandler Smith will be going for his first title and his final truck series start and the final Toyota start for KBM. Um, oh, yeah. Zane... oh my God. Yeah. That's a thing. going to be an emotional night. Um, Zane Smith as well, making it back to the championship four for the third year in a row. Still wow, waiting for that for first him. title. I didn't realize it was three straight. Yeah, and then Ty Majeski winning twice, twice in the round of eight. Um, he is racing for his first Truck Series title as well. That's um, what you call it. Was it round of eight or round of six? I have no idea what the hell the trucks are. No, it's round of eight. eight. It's ten, yeah. Ten, yeah, to, yeah. 10 to 8. 10 to yeah. 8, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah. stupid. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's one thing we do agree on. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, Ty Majeski's in there. Very much a short track ace, but... We got to make our predictions four to one here, Kyle. There's a lot of good storylines in here. Do we, let, let's ones. start with who we want to win. Okay, go ahead. Let's start with who we want to win, and then we'll go four to one in our predictions. Yep. Who do I want to win? Yeah. Ty Majeski. Of course I want Ty Majeski to win. Seeing yeah. somebody who, similar to Josh Berry and the storyline that he's had and, and going from late models and whatever up to Xfinity mm-hmm. and succeeding, he's a guy that's, worked his ass off to get to where he is and whether it's running short tracks all over the place to joining Thor sport on a time part-time basis and working in the shop to figuring out a way to land a full-time deal to making the playoffs to finally breaking through in this round and winning not once, but twice. Um, it would be awesome to see after kind of the up and down career that he's had, even taking over yeah. the niece truck, I think it was right. The, the niece truck after Ross Chastain left, yeah. Um, and when they had the GMS partnership end and everybody saw his numbers was like, this guy's terrible, all that kind of stuff. Um, I he think it would be great. was in that 60 car there for a bit too. In That's the right. Yeah. Series. Even before that, um, it would be great to see Majeski break through and kind of put a stamp on whatever happens in the future happens in the future, but to kind of put that stamp on, I'm a damn good driver and I want a championship. That would be really cool to see. Yeah. Can't go wrong with time Majeski, but I got to go with Chandler Smith. Um, okay, just be, okay. J- I'll be honest. I thought you were going the other Smith. Who I want to win. Who yep. I want to win. No, right? I know. I know. Chandler, Chandler Smith, I want to win because I want KBM and Toyota to go out in a winning way. Um, as much as Toyota's hurt my feelings this year, well, I wouldn't even say it's Toyota. It's more Joe Gibbs that I have the issue with than Toyota. <laughs> um, really? No way. I couldn't yeah. under, I couldn't get that feeling. Yeah. Where is there a Joe Gibbs racing logo on this? I might have to. Yeah, right there. I might have to just cross that right up, but just get a um, piece of tape. Yeah, exactly. Um, but I do want Chandler Smith to win because he has had a really good season and I do want to see him excel, uh, su- excel, excuse me. At the next <laughs> level. There we go. There's yeah. a new one. That's another one. To, out out to toast. To toast. Oh dear. So oh, Excel. It's going to be a nice Excel <laughs> branded Microsoft edge or whatever. Um, but uh, um, Chandler Smith, I, this track is really good to him too. So I think that he's got a really good shot at it. Uh, but I think he's, he's just been so good this year. And I do want to see just KBM go out on top with Toyota before the inevitable rebuild starts next year. I'm very curious to see what their package and overall performance looks like in 2023. Um, driver lineup to be determined, but Nick Sanchez is rumored to be going there. And then, 
who knows what the other seat is going to be. Um, I'm hopeful it's not Jack Wood, but um, we'll see. Um, but yes, Chandler Smith is my guy that I would like to see win on Friday night. All righty. Uh, shall we get into the, into the four to one, shall we? Yep. Yeah. Um, you go first. I'm well, going to write, rewrite mine out so I can properly after, do this. Uh, after pumping his tires, um, as I want him to win, um, I've got Majeski finishing fourth here. Um, they're the only team with two trucks in the yeah. in the championship for Thor Sport. So you've got some split resources and stuff. And Ben yeah. Rhodes has been there, done that. And we haven't seen it yet from time of Majeski. Um, he's won two races in the last round. It's great that he's on this roll and stuff. Um, but the winning stuff is still new to him. We've seen the other drivers in this championship for win more often, be up front more consistently. Um, and so for that reason, I think Majeski's mm-hmm. going to finish fourth here. I don't have Majeski finishing fourth. Okay. Um, okay. I have the defending truck series champion mm. finishing fourth. Reason being their speed has not been there this year like it was last year. Um, they had the, obviously the two wins to start last year really early on. And then that really propelled them into, you know, knowing that they were clinched and they had a lot of time, I feel like to just hone in on their craft. They showed good um, spurts of speed at times. And then, you know, they were struggling a little bit, but like this year, I feel like vocally we have heard from Ben Rhodes and, and Thor sport that that 90, uh, 99 team is not where they want to be speed wise. They had a good homestead, but I feel like they put a lot of emphasis on that race because they knew that they needed it to make it to Phoenix and they weren't as in, weren't in as comfortable a position as they were last season to make it. Um, and I do think that that will plague them a little bit. I, I mean, Rhodes was pretty lucky to win it last year. If John Hunter Nemechek didn't hit the wall, basically on lap one, he had the fastest truck by far. He drove back up to like seventh, I think at the end there after being like two laps down, like if he was, if he was fine, he probably wins that championship. But that's ifs, ands, or buts. You can't go back. Um, but I do think Ben Rhodes does not quite have the speed that the other three have to execute here. And I like the other three quite a bit at this track. So I okay. I do think that he finishes fourth. Yeah, and, and Ben Rhodes is number three for me. Um, for a lot of the reasons you mentioned, where um, of, the, of the championship four guys, he's been pretty clearly the fourth driver over the course of the season. Um, yeah. I've got him number three, just because like I said, the been and there, done, done that, that factor, the yep. having raced on the track for a championship, all that kind of stuff. And let's not forget as well, this is the truck series. So it's not necessarily you need to go out and win the race. You just need to finish ahead of the other guys. Um, whereas in the other series, it's much more, you need to win the race. Um, but uh, for this circumstance, um, I, I think Thor sport is a little bit behind the other two, at least trucks, maybe not yeah. the teams as a whole, but the the two trucks for sure. Um, mm-hmm. And that's why I've got them four and three for myself. And I think that if either of them is to get up in the mix, it might have to be because of a little bit of strategy. Could be. We've seen a late caution there. Cost Brett Moff at a championship before. So yep. cost maybe want to keep that extra, spot extra GMS set of too, tires. So. <laughs> yeah. Who knows where he's going to end up next year. Um, I have Ty Majeski third. Um, so just swapping the places there. Yep. Um, I just like, it's not necessarily a short track, but I do like Majeski's I mean, overall it's a ability. Shorter track. shorter track, right? I think Majeski's overall skill will play advantage here. I could see him potentially qualifying well and leading a bit early on, but I think as the night goes on, I think the two guys I have ahead of him will prevail a little bit, maybe over the course of a long run. And um, I mean, I'm shocked that Majeski won Homestead because like they've yeah, been I able didn't to work that. to be able to, you know, focus on phoenix for so long here because they know they've won since bristol um the fact that they brought a really good piece to homestead is surprising i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing momentum's obviously great but surprised that they were able to bring the race winning truck to homestead when a lot of other people had a lot more at stake so but jesse's gonna finish third for myself at phoenix uh let's go to number one then or number one okay Okay. Do you want to go it's first? The Battle of the Smiths. You want to go first? Or you want me to take this one? I can go first. Okay. So my champion for the truck series this season, third time lucky for Zane Smith. Um, I think he does it. Uh, he has been the best driver in the truck series this season, consistency wise. Um, 
He's got 13 top fives and 18 top tens, eight stage wins, three victories. He's just had a complete season. And I think he'll be rewarded for that on Friday. Um, and I think he's kind of due for it. You know, I feel like he's been in contention the last two seasons. He's put himself in a good position. I don't know if GMS has necessarily brought him the, the best truck to execute that, but I do think that, you know, the first year, I think we were all surprised that he kind of made it there last year was pretty solid. This year, he's taken his his next step as like the perennial championship kind of caliber truck series driver that we kind of could have seen him progress to being. And uh, I think he gets it done on Friday and Chandler Smith falls one spot short of a truck series title for KBM. Yep. And funny enough, I've got the reverse where Chandler Smith takes the championship for myself. Oh. Um, I think this is going to be a great battle between these two. Um, yeah, or at too. least I hope it is um, because... Uh, Zane Smith, underrated driver at Phoenix as well, and it yeah. finished second in that uh, first Phoenix battle, uh, and then yeah. had a solid top five last year. Just finished uh, runner up in the championship um, both times there. Um, yeah. But I think Chandler Smith going out there, being el- eligible for the championship, we've already seen him go out and do it at Phoenix, and it's whether he can do it with the pressure on and stuff like that. Uh, I don't think that Chandler Smith is a driver that's too worried about the pressure, and we'll see if that's the case. Um, he's but this a is a guy talent, that's, that's, that's gone out got and him. he's put up a ton of results. And and this yep. is a driver that I'm super high on. So, yep. um, unfortunately, Jim. I think it's going to not be. Be bridesmaid again. Bridesmaid again. Uh, some Vancouver Canucksisms here for Zane Smith. Sorry. 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 Uncalled for. It was uncalled for. That was my bad. I, I couldn't help myself. Um, but, hey, look, both guys are going to be excellent talents going into the future. I'm yeah. super, super excited to see Chandler Smith at the Xfinity Series next level or uh, next year. Um, but yeah, I, I think he gets it done at Phoenix. It, look, two third places and a first. Like the numbers speak yeah. for themselves. So you think Smith is going to excel the best, eh? I'll, uh, I will take a Smith for, to win the championship. Nice, nice, good. All righty. And now it's going to be like Ben Rhodes from seventh after everybody wrecks. Ah, <sighs> God, I, I'm good with. Three of the four there. I don't, I, don't, I mean, I'm good with any winning. of them because if Ben Rhodes wins, then we're going to get That's drunk true. Ben Rhodes again. So. I, I just don't really like I've Ben Rhodes after last year or when he wrecked Eckes there. Like it just, buddy holds a grudge. Just kind of set me They're off. Teammates. A there. They're friends now. Oh, I don't know about friends, frenemies, know. frenemies. Um, Xfinity series. Uh, one more night. thing. One oh, more okay. thing. Does the truck series champion win the race? Great question. Yes. I think those four are too good this year to say only reason it would be is not jo- is John Hunter Nemechek. That's the only reason I would say that they don't, but he's been so mistake proven this season. Like, I mean, the I can't pressure's say- not on anymore. I don't know. Uh, I, I think that the, the winner also wins the race. Okay. We'll do that for all three. We'll do that. For all I three. mean, uh, yeah, I guess it is interesting for all three to a certain extent. Yeah. 